Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load. And I will explain a very simple and easy method how to find out the support reaction only in one or two steps. Very easy method. So I have a beam here of length 8 meter and there is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter acting uniformly uniformly on this beam and here is a support and here we have b support and we have to find out the support reaction here is this a hinge support so it can take both the vertical reaction r a and horizontal reaction r horizontal a but r a horizontal is equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam so here is a rural support so it can also take the vertical load r b so we have to find out the support reactions R A and R B. So a very easy method. Just in one or two steps, you will see here now how to find support reaction R A and R B. The first step, step number one. Step number one is to multiply this value, which is uniformly distributed load you have to multiply this value with this value so 5 kN per meter multiplying it with this 8 meter length so meter meter is cancelled so we got here 40 kN so 40 kN is the load acting on this beam this is now a concentrated load here acting on this beam what I did here in the first step, I multiply this value with this value to get the pointed load. This is now a pointed load. Before, this was the UDL. UDL means uniformly distributed load. And this is now a pointed load, or we can say concentrated load acting on the beam. So this is 40 kN. Right? So in the second step, what I did, I have to just divide this value by 2. So R A is equal to 40 divided by 2 and R B is also 40 divided by 2. So 40 divided by 2 means 20 kN and this is also 20 kN. So it means half of the load is taken by this support and half of the load is taken by this support. So this is just in two steps you can find out the support reaction of a simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load. What you should do in the first step, you have to multiply this uniformly distributed load with the uniformly with the overall length of the beam. You will get the pointed load or concentrated load, this one, and then you have to divide this by two because now this load will act at the center of the beam, pointed load, and half of the load will be taken by this support, and half of the load will be taken by this support. So in two steps, you can find out the support reaction of a simply supported beam with an informally distributed load. I hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.